What's up, YouTube? It's been a couple of weeks. Um, so I have taken a couple weeks off of doing YouTube. I know I'm just getting started. You're like, wow, you are already taking time off. Um, but I did it for a good reason and purpose. And that was I took the PMP exam. I passed it. Um, but I want to give a couple of quick tips and tricks of things that I did not find out on the internet, but I found out while taking my test. And this is specifically talking about the OnView uh, system. So with that said, I'm gonna try to transition a little. So one thing I didn't say was welcome. Uh, I'm Brad Govin and traditionally I do YouTube videos on psychology, theology, and general student uh, attributes because I am a lifelong student. Uh, so in this channel, I generally cover uh, some of the things that I'm learning as a student, how to apply it, but also some uh, theology tips in a sense of like how that combines with what I'm learning and also, I talk about a couple other things. Again, I'm still working through my niche. Stay tuned because I've got a lot that I'm going to cover, but I'm generally going to use this to journey through my doctoral degree. So uh, with that in mind, I do want to talk about this unique experience that I had with the OnView testing system. First, what did I learn? I learned uh, the first thing is that a couple days before your test, they're going to send you an email for you to test out your computer. Uh, this is a great opportunity to just make sure your microphone works, your webcam works, and that you have everything you need to get this accomplished, uh, to be able to log into their systems. Um, again, it'll give you practice in closing out um, everything so their on-view testing system can come up. But there is a slight problem with this, um, as I experienced first, uh, in testing this, it doesn't tell you that all your background apps need to be turned off. So how you do that is you go into uh, your search panel and just type background apps. Should bring up uh, a item to click on, get in there, and there's literally one green button. You just have to turn them all off. So it's, it's great if you could do this ahead of time because it could just save you a little bit of time from the proctor calling you and telling you, hey, you need to turn this off. Another thing is to test your microphone. Um, I ended up having to schedule my test twice because of microphone issues, um, or at least I think it was microphone issues. To start off, I actually had microphone issues. Uh, I got into, I didn't get into my test. I got to the test part. First thing that popped open was an error. I ended up being on uh, hold with the proctor and talking with the proctor for a couple hours. And then before I got pushed over to kind of a customer service um, troubleshooting uh, IT area. And ultimately my microphone was registering in their system. They said they could hear me, but the OnView system says it couldn't uh, connect or it was it had the little red X. Um, so very good to have a microphone, but also to have a backup microphone possibly when taking it in case you need to swap it out for, for any reason. Uh, another thing that I learned is that while you can still have all your background apps off, make sure you update and close out of Adobe Creative Cloud before you take your test. Um, so what happened with me is, as I was taking the test, Adobe Creative Cloud popped up and said, you have to do an update, which is fine normally, except it somehow overrides that OnView system and the OnView system then collapsed and I had to call the proctor and get them to re do reopen up my test where I was. So it was kind of scary. Uh, that could have been prevented if I had updated my Adobe Creative Cloud and closed out of it so that way it didn't have any issues. Um, phone in, your, in the room. Now, as you read through the instructions, it says not to have your phone within arm's length. Um, I went ahead and decided to put the phone outside of my room that I was testing. 
uh, or testing in. And I came up with the problem of I had to contact the uh, proctor or the proctor was trying to contact me. They'll contact you over chat first, but then they uh, will try to call you. And I actually had to leave my room to go get my phone. This could have been prevented had it just been arm's length or a little bit of outside of arm's length away. So keep that in mind. That is helpful to have it in the room, uh, just not necessarily uh, quickly available to you. Um, you do have to take pictures of your room and I had to take down all of my YouTube setup, all my lights, all my camera, uh, my microphone. I had to take it all down. And what I actually did is I took sheets and covered up the walls uh, or the fake walls that I have put up, my bookshelves. And uh, as you can probably see here, uh, I just took everything down so, so nothing was available. Be nice to the proctors when you when they call you because you don't know what kind of life situation they're in. So the first day I was testing, I got a call from one of the proctors and she was actually very excited to call me because she said that that's not her normal job and she is literally just gonna sit there all day and watch people test. And so she said it's generally kind of boring for her. She wasn't normally in the proctoring department, but because of the whole COVID, that's basically what they transitioned her to. And so she was proctoring and she said it was very boring. So it was enjoyable to talk to somebody. Um, so another thing that I want to talk about is the on-view testing system itself. So you will go in a couple days before and open it up and see if you can get in. The day of, you're going to go through the same steps, except you have a couple of additional steps, such as taking pictures of your room and your ID and, and figuring out the situation. Here's a key tip, though. If you have the on-view system still in your download files, delete it out. Um, and the reason I say this is because I had the issue where my unique test number was generating from the original file. And so it wasn't allowing me to open up a new file. It kept bringing me back to that uh, file that I had opened a couple days before. So what they recommended is to delete it out completely and then download the OnView app the day of your test. So keep that in mind. It's something that I would recommend doing. Just again, it'll save you couple of minutes and potentially um, allow you to just jump right into your test. Lastly, be patient with OnView. So my test was at 845. When you log in, you can log in 30 minutes early to start this process. And once you're done with the check in process, they will put a message up that says we strive to get you testing within 30 minutes of your scheduled time. So that's within 30 minutes or within 15 minutes of your scheduled time. So what that means, if my test was at 845, that means they have until nine o'clock. At nine o'clock, I got a message from the proctor saying they're having some issues and they have a lot of people and to just be patient. I ended up waiting until about 945 before my test popped up. Hopefully that's not the norm for OnView. Hopefully I just got in on a very busy day, but keep that in mind that you will probably be waiting there. And because you've taken everything off your desk and you've taken everything out of your room, there's literally nothing to do but sit there and stare at yourself on your webcam. Very annoying, um, very frustrating, but not anybody's fault. So just keep that in mind as you go into this. Um, fairly well on the test. The test itself is pretty self-explanatory. There's lots of material out there that you can uh, take to see if it will, to get an idea of what the PMP exam is like. Ultimately, it, was, it took me about two and a half hours to take the test. Uh, I didn't do so good in one area. I did great in three, and then I had one area that was, I kind of, I guess I did all right, and I, I was on target. So one below target, one on target, and three above target. So I was very happy with my results. Um, very happy to have my PMP certification. Um, and keep that in mind.
So thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the big thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more on my channel, please check out uh, the video on psychology here. Um, and if not, I got a couple other videos if you wait till the end uh, to check out uh, just generally where I'm kind of starting and going with my channel. So if you want to see more, click on one of those videos. If you like what you see, click subscribe and we will hopefully see you in the future. Thanks.